Hi, I'm Mallory. I'm a display designer here at Boulevard Home, and I'm going to show you one bedspread three ways. For our first style, we're going to start with pop-up color. We're going to start with a basic neutral tone and then work in any accents and colors for the season or your preference. This bed is a great option for any springtime decor that you have in your home. This is also a very modern look, so if you have black and whites in your home and just want to add pops of color, then this is a great look for that as well. So we added four Euro pillows to fill the space behind the bed. This is a king size headboard. If you have a queen size, you're welcome to do three pillows. You could even get away with doing three pillows on a king as well. We put in different patterns like this houndstooth and then we kept in with different textures like velvet that ties into the velvet down in the blanket here. And we have yellow and a different pattern here it ties into the yellow in the uh, coverlet at the bottom. My rule of thumb for pillow display is to start with your big pillows in the back, your larger pillows, um, and then tear your way down um, to your smallest accent pillow. This is a great quilt coverlet to have um, just to add some lightness to the room and some color to the room um, for really any season. I know men don't prefer so many pillows on their bed, but I mean, look how amazing this is. Now we're gonna go into bed set number two and we're gonna stick to neutrals. Uh, nothing can go wrong with a neutral color. You're gonna love this look. Neutral tones are great for any season. You can add color and different textures to create a heavier feel for winter or a lighter feel for summer and spring. You don't have to keep everything tidy and neat, so you can just throw your throw on the blanket, put it on the end of the bed without having to make it fancy. We put in these really large pillows that are a Euro size and a king length that have tweed texture that matches the coverlet on the bottom. So your accent pillows don't always have to match each other. We did in this case, I think it looks really great with this bedding. The darker tones kind of add something different that this bed needed. We have this front tassel fringe accent pillow to match the throw blanket on the bed and with it all being a neutral color, everything blends. This one is gonna be a little bit heavier with a grayer tones, a bigger comforter at the bottom, um, and some, some darker tones to this. And this is great for your winter months, and we are gonna actually use a queen size comforter on the end of the bed, so you don't have to get rid of your queen size comforters if you decide to get a king size bed, so this will look great. Um, adding this little accent pillow here, we're just adding one because we already have two kind of pattern pillows here. We don't need to create more than what we need to down here. We started the bed off by adding three Euro pillows to the back of the headboard with them being the higher dimension and then going on to our sham that ties into the rest of the bedding. Moving on to a queen size sham that ties in to the comforter at the end of the bed, um, adding another texture and another pattern that this bed needed. Um, we have solids and patterns and solids again, and it just visually looks really great on this bed. So this bed creates a really warm, cozy, I just wanna jump in it and cuddle in it feel and uh, it's great for your winter months. You can actually take, this is just a duvet, so you can actually take out the comforter and just create a, a smaller, sleeker look um, if you want something lighter at the end of your bed as well. That's our looks for all three beds. Um, let us know in the comments below what you think and like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.